Quando Rondo, congratulations, my boy. You are the first Savannah artist ever to hit a million plus views on YouTube that features an Atlanta artist. Uh, now, Quando Rondo, uh, he's from the East Side. He's from Hitch Village Projects, HVP. And I believe he, he's a young cat, you know what I'm saying? He's like 18 years old, I believe, 18 or 19. And he actually has a music video out right now that features Atlanta artist Lil Baby. If you guys that know Lil Baby, Lil Baby, he got that song called That's My Dog, That's My Dog. I uh, like that song. That song's a hit. Uh, for him to actually reach out to Lil Baby and make this video happen. Uh, this video, by the way, is on World Star Hip Hop. Uh, this is not my video. I do not own this video. Uh, but the video that was posted on World Star Hip Hop, man, it got over 1.6 million views. And like I said, no other Savannah artist has ever done that before has ever put up numbers like that on YouTube. Even even some of his older videos, I remember he did a video with Just Shoot Films uh, just like two weeks ago. It was at 40,000 views. Now, ever since that video dropped on World Stop Hip Hop, uh, the other video that he got now went from 40,000 views to 130,000 views, a 90,000 increase on views. And to be real with you, uh, I only heard of this guy on Just Shoot Films, and he did another video uh, that I remember freestyle. But Quando Rondo, he's making feats in the hip-hop game in Savannah. I like to see him do a little bit more shows, not only in the city, but just shows all across the state or even just the nation uh, to get his name up and get him his name out there and just have him promoted in such a, a fabulous way. It's amazing to see a Savannah artist that come from little to nothing and that is able to reach out to other artists, other bigger artists that's not in the city, but also make a name for himself at the same time. And uh, congratulations, I tip my head off to this guy because on the real, you know, months ago, I, I've never heard of this guy, you know, and I've been covering Savannah artists ever since I started off my YouTube channel. I think I've covered almost 40 artists on my YouTube channel. Uh, the link is in the description. I have a playlist full of Savannah artists that you need to know about. But uh, on the real, yeah, man, he, he kind of really came out of nowhere. But I'm glad that he came out of nowhere because it shows you how much talent that is in the city of Savannah. But the one thing I do got to say is that since this video has so many views on YouTube and on World Star Hip Hop, you would think that he would be featured on the radio a little bit more because only the fact that it's him plus Lil Baby. And you, you would think that you'll be hearing this all over the Savannah radios, like E93, 94. And this song really need to get pushed on the radio stations in Savannah because when you go to Atlanta, things are just different because when you go to Atlanta or even just getting close to the city of Atlanta, you'll hear a lot of artists that's on the radio. You hear a lot of songs that haven't been heard before by the average everyday hip hop listener. And that's what I think makes the whole hip hop scene in Atlanta so different and so diverse because you actually got people who actually listen to the radio that actually in tune with the artists locally. In Savannah, it's not like that. In Savannah, all they play is the same old uh, generic songs that you always hear 50 times in a day. You know, you'll hear a little Chris Brown, you'll hear a little SZA. I mean, all these other new artists, but getting love in the city and actually getting playing time on the city, it's a hard thing to do. You know, it, it really is. I think the only time they really have time to actually promote Savannah artists is on Sundays between a certain time. But uh, I really want to see this song get pushed like how it should be and get all the promotion and everything else because uh, he's not a bad rapper at all. I mean, I got to get more into his work and I haven't really been on my Savannah artist ground like that. And I haven't really been covering Savannah artists because I ain't going to lie to y'all, man, like half the artists that I covered on my Savannah artists playlist, man. Half of them don't even really rap anymore. Half of them just gave up. And half of them just really, not even half, majority of them have given up and just start doing other careers, which is not a bad thing. You know, you got to do what works for you. But I actually want to see somebody who actually has talent to push themselves so far that they can make it, you know. And that's one thing I really kind of stopped covering Savannah artists because I've seen a lot of them just give up you dig like a lot of them just get discouraged because they don't have those views like that because they don't have that outlet 
like world style hip hop does. But yeah, man, hopefully I see more content. I see more videos for him. I was going to do a music video reaction to this, but uh, the room that I do all my music video reactions is like full of boxes and everything else. So, But I'm working on something that's for the Savannah artists, man. I'm, I'm still linking up with these guys, man. So any other opinions and suggestions, uh, contact me. Hit me up in the comment section. Gmail me. Facebook me, whatever you got to do. But that's all for right now. It's Pac-Man Jones with Savannah Seaport News. And stay blessed, Seaport.